Yeah, it's really cute and it's nice and quiet. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you because we are going to be reviewing a potentially life-changing appliance, a portable dishwasher. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I lived in Los Angeles and two years ago, I found a portable washing machine at Goodwill for $60. I had never even knew that existed. And even though I had a nice place in a great neighborhood, my building did not have a washer and dryer. So I was forced to go to the laundromat, one of the worst things of my entire life. So finding this portable washing machine literally changed everything for me. So when this company, Novet, asked me to review the dishwasher, I was like, yeah, absolutely. Who wants to go to the laundromat? Who wants to hand wash dishes? I don't. So I have an amazing solution for you today. It literally looks beautiful and the results will tell. We're gonna test it out. I'm gonna show you how it works. We're gonna see before and afters and let's get started. My first impression is that it's absolutely beautiful. I love the white color. I feel like it fits in with this kitchen very nicely. There is an LCD panel on the top, which I will show you what I plug in. A little air vent on the side. On the top, there's permanent instructions. This is where you fill it up manually with water. Inside it comes with these accessories. This is the water pitcher to manually fill it. You have the option to manually fill it or connect the hose to your sink. First is the silverware holder that goes right here. And then it comes with this hose, which will drain the water from the dishwasher into the sink. It also has this hose right here, which connects to the dishwasher and your sink faucet. One of the issues that I ran into with this is that we have this faucet from Ikea, so it doesn't actually screw right on there, which is totally fine. I ended up being able to use the water pitcher and didn't have any issues at all. And then it also comes with this basket here. There's a setting on the dishwasher that allows you to um, do a fruit rinse. So there are two connections right here for these hoses. This is the one that's gonna drain the water out. So you just wanna put that here, it fits perfectly. Now you can twist this hose either to the right or to the left, depending on which side your sink is on. Makes sense for me to put it this way on mine. Just make sure that that's all the way on. And this is the one that goes from the dishwasher to the faucet. This has a screwing mechanism. So you just place that right there and you just easily twist to the right. And then you can kind of shift this over so that again, the cords are gonna be facing towards your sink when you flip the dishwasher back around. Three prong plug. You wanna put it next to a sink or it could technically be like a bucket or something because this is going to drain into the sink. And I did actually measure to see if this unit could fit under the kitchen cabinets, but it's literally the same height. So that's definitely something that you wanna consider before you purchase this. You wanna think about where you're gonna place it. Okay, as soon as it plugs in, comes live. Here is the control panel up here. The first thing I wanna do is actually fill the tank with water. Three of these pitchers will work for one use on the dishwasher. so pretty in this kitchen and it's quiet. 
There's something very soothing about knowing that you don't have to do your dishes. Okay, so it just finished the watch cycle. There was a little bit of dinging to let me know that it was done. And now it looks like it automatically went on the drying cycle. But so far, I'm excited about it. This is literally pristine. Oh my God, so pretty. Hot as well, so it actually does heat up. If you guys are concerned about like bacteria or something, these plates are actually really hot right now. And it looks literally spotless. Highly, highly recommend. I think the wash cycle was a little bit long. Ouch, it's hot. Perfectly clean. Amazing. Okay, so my general impression of the portable dishwasher is that I love it. I found that it was super low maintenance to use. All you basically have to do is fill it up with water and then let it go. Everything came out nice and hot, so I feel like it was like disinfected as well. Um, they definitely didn't cut corners. You can use it with regular dish detergent pods. It's beautiful and just looks great, which is an important factor for me. Um, and it was really quiet, quiet, low maintenance, stylish, and super useful. I just feel like if you're living in an apartment and you're just sick of washing dishes or you have kids and bottles and everything, oh my God, like this could literally make a massive difference in your life. So Novet has kindly offered to extend a discount to you guys as a thank you. If you are genuinely interested in purchasing this, um, all that information will be in the description box below along with the link to the Amazon listing. Um, they ship mine to me really quickly. There's really good ratings, like 4.8 star reviews. So definitely like read those, but you're going to see where it's like life changing. I can't believe this. I should have bought this years ago. These are the exact feelings that I felt when I bought that portable washing machine. If you just are a person that doesn't have these like very basic appliances in your life, it's, they make it just makes life so much better just to have these simple conveniences that you kind of take for granted when you do have it, okay? Um, the only thing I wanna warn you about design-wise is that the height of this is 18 inches and I was unable to put it under my kitchen cabinets. Um, luckily, it fits still beautifully in with this kitchen. So you just wanna think a little bit about where you place it before you actually make the purchase. But on the Amazon reviews, I saw a lot of people were putting them on rolling kitchen carts, which makes a lot of sense because um, as long as it's either near a sink or you can put a bucket, that's it. It didn't drain a whole lot of water out whenever it was, um, you know, going through its cycle. Pretty low maintenance, in my opinion. So thanks guys so much for watching. Um, put your comments or questions down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.